really excited. I've seen so many pictures and heard so many people tell me about what it's like out there and I want to see for myself what's happening in our oceans. We are leaving Bermuda today to sail into the western part of the North Atlantic Gyre, also known as the North Atlantic Garbage Patch. We're going to be sampling the ocean surface roughly every 50 nautical miles in a place where no samples have ever been taken before. The importance of this is we need to start determining trending, how much the gyre is growing with plastic, or if it's shrinking, and if it's shrinking, why is that so? We know it's not because we're consuming less, and we also know it's not because we're capturing the plastic entering the ocean better or recycling more. So what we're still in the midst of doing is trying to determine how much is out there so we have a base level to compare future samples and constant monitoring to. Is that a piece of plastic out there? Yeah, so. Some type of plastic tub. It might be a, it might be a cap. I have worked on the solution side of uh, the plastic issue for a number of years now, and so really looking forward to seeing that firsthand so I can speak to that issue in a way that is much more meaningful than just from reading and, and joining events, but actually being able to see it firsthand. We see the plastic pollution problem as a global problem, and we need a global solution. So we have a crew of people from very diverse backgrounds. We have young activists, we have old activists, we have lawyers, we have journalists, the whole works. And what we're trying to do is empower a new generation of crew with an authentic vantage so they can go back to their communities and talk from first-hand knowledge about what it's like to see this plastic problem manifest in the world's oceans. And also see the beauty of the ocean as, as, as it is and what we are here to protect. My name is Jenny Romer and I'm an attorney. I help cities adopt plastic bag ordinances and I help them prepare environmental documents to avoid suits by the plastics industry. One of the arguments that the plastics industry uses is that the plastic in the ocean isn't a very big problem, that it's really blown out of proportion by environmentalists. And so I want to know exactly what's out here. We are taking an observation for an hour looking for plastic on the surface of the ocean. Most of the pieces we found so far are plastic bottles, um, pieces of crates, and other unidentifiable fragments of plastic. It's in English. <laughs> yeah. It's an adventure, and it's cutting edge, so it's fun. We were very successful in the science. Uh, we collected 16 samples total. Uh, the samples that we saw were pretty jam-packed with plastic pollution. It was microplastics that we were seeing. They were very typical of other samples that we've seen around the world, but these had a significant amount of small, small, small fragments. You know, the boat was kind of a metaphor for our efforts as a global team, if that makes sense. So, on the boat, there were people from all different walks of life, all different industries and professions. It was such an eclectic group, and I was thinking, there's no place on earth that this group would have gotten together for any other purpose, but we all have the same passion. We're all in the same boat together. We all feel that passion that we want to solve this plastic pollution problem. It was a really excellent opportunity for me and for the Aquarium of the Bay to be involved in getting some first-hand experience of what plastic pollution in the ocean looks like and to, and to experience it with a number of really dedicated professionals was phenomenal and it will help galvanize me to work even harder to help raise awareness around the issue of plastic pollution and the fact that we need to have less plastic going from the watersheds through the rivers and creeks and bays out to the ocean and everybody is part of the solution. Everybody can make a difference. Remember we're all in the same boat. We're all in the same boat. Short and sweet. Short and sweet.
putting some letters and a message in a bottle, and we're going to launch it tonight in the Gulfstream.